chances are that the arrow may stop on the blue area of the spinner and win her the game. If Sue knew something about probability, a branch of mathematics, she could easily tell what the chances are. Let's see how probability could help Sue by doing some experiments of our own. What are the chances that this disc will land red side up when we toss it? Let's examine the disc. It has two sides, a red side and a yellow side. There is also an edge running all around it. Would it be possible for the disc to land red side up? Yes, that would be possible. Could it land yellow side up? Yes, that would be possible too. Could it land on its edge? It is very unlikely, so we'll forget this possibility. There are then two possible ways in which the disc might land. Yellow side up and red side up. What are the chances that the red side may land up in a toss? One out of two, since the disc has only one red side. How likely is it that the side of this cube labeled B may come up if we drop it? Let's examine the cube. It has six sides. Each side is labeled with a different letter. In how many possible ways may the cube land when we drop it? Six, since there are six sides. How many possibilities are there that the side labeled B may land up? One, since there is only one B side. How can we describe how likely it is that the cube may land B side up? One out of six. When we talk about one out of six or one out of two, we're talking about probability, a study that can help us determine how likely it is that a thing may happen in a certain way. But probability, under most circumstances, cannot tell us what will happen. It can only tell us what is more likely or less likely to happen. Each of these cards is labeled with a different numeral from 1 through 7. What is the probability that the card labeled 4 may be chosen if we turn the cards over and mix them up? Since there are 7 cards and only one card has a 4 on it, the probability is one out of seven that the four card may be chosen. But although probability can tell us what is most likely to happen, it doesn't mean that the most likely thing will always happen. Now, suppose we remove the three card and replace it with another four card, so that there are two four cards in the set. What are the chances that one of the four cards may be chosen? Two out of seven. Let's remove the two card and replace it with still another four card, so that there are now three four cards in the set. What are the chances that one of the four cards may be chosen? 
three out of seven. We often need to know how to read and write probabilities. We can write the probability three out of seven like this. The P stands for the word probability. The word or numeral in parenthesis stands for the particular possibility we are interested in. The upper numeral tells the number of possibilities there are for the particular thing to happen. The lower numeral tells the total number of possibilities. Pretend that your class is going to draw straws. The first person to draw a short straw will be catcher for the baseball team. You want to know what the chances are for your picking a short straw and becoming catcher. How many straws are there altogether? Five. How many are short? Two. How many are long? Suppose you are going to be the one to pick a straw. What is the probability that you may pick a short straw and become catcher? Two out of five. What is the probability that you may pick a long straw? Three out of five. What is the probability that the elevator on the right may open first? Almost everywhere we look, we see people doing things that are examples of probability. How is drawing lots for a position on a baseball team an example of probability? Suppose that some dark night, your dad sends you to open a door with an unfamiliar set of keys. How does trying to pick the right key the first time remind you probability. As these shirts are placed in a washer, notice their colors and count them. What are the chances that a red shirt may be picked out first? What would you have to know about the number and colors of the objects in this glass bowl before you could name the chances for getting a yellow one? Look again at Sue's spinner. What was the probability of her spinning the blue area?